right. Welcome, everybody. Today is April 6th, 2022. This is the Kubernetes SIGA Architecture Production Readiness Meeting. And um, let me display the agenda. One second. John, you're muted. The lips are moving, but the audio is not coming. <laughs> How about now? Now I can hear you. Sorry, I was having a moment there where I was like, what's going on? Can't yeah. hear a thing. Did it's we- not you, it's Zoom has decided that whenever you share the screen, it should share your audio from that tab too. And so oh, and mute you, okay. Mute you, which is like asinine because that's the most unusual thing you would ever want to do. <laughs> so anyway, I'll keep my uh, opinion to myself, although I already <laughs> said it. <laughs> um, okay, that was a poor choice for user experience. I'll just say that. Um, Put it more politely. <clears throat> okay, so in fact, uh, I'm gonna <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna um, stop sharing and share the window so that I can bring up the form. <coughs> Hopefully, all these people in the office didn't get me COVID. Um, all right. So this time it didn't do it. Apparently it only does that when you share a tab, which makes even less sense. Okay. Uh, all right, so uh, what I did is just grab the 2021 form and duped it and made minor modifications. Um, so if uh, folks could review this, it's shared with, um, members of the PRR team. The only real change I made, this used to go from 113 to 121. I know 124 is not released yet, so we'll probably get nothing there, but I'll, I was debating whether to include it or not. But it's released pretty soon, so if we take it, you know, usually we leave this open for at least a month. Um, so uh, the link is in the agenda. Um, if you want to uh, take a look, Elena. Um, unfortunately, David's not here because he did the analysis this year. And so one thing we've done, this is only our third time doing this, but in the past, we revised the questions based upon our experience with the analysis. Um, but um, since David, did, I, think, I think at this point, we're pretty, well refined, if, unless you have some thoughts about what we might need to add or remove or change. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe we could go back to some of the notes from like, I don't know if there was any obvious missing things when we were doing the analysis from last time. I know that there were some things that we had called out as like, could we segment the data on those axes or something like that? There was for the original, there were, there were some definite misses in the original survey. Yeah, well, I'm thinking like just the last time around, because I feel like the last time around, we it was mostly pretty, like everything we wanted was there. I think so too. That's why I was saying I wish David were here because he did the analysis. He could probably um, 
say whether there were things he wa questions he had he wasn't able to answer with the data, um, which is sort of the e easiest way to identify it. Sorry, I'm scrolling through to see if we have any old. It would have been around. Yeah. <laughs> now, now I'm getting back into like. So one thing we talked about doing, but it's in it's in the analysis. It's not in the in the questions. Was changing the way we report it to be like instead of by version number. But like by like version n being the most recent version, then n minus one, n minus two, kind of thing. But that that we would just calculate at the time we do the analysis. Um, the great thing is if we don't change the questions, then we should be able to reuse the all the queries and reports and just redirect them to the new set of data. So. I, I don't have any other comments. I guess my my statement would be let's uh, review this offline and people can make comments or questions or um, whatever. And uh, did you have any other thoughts or ideas for for today, Elena, or should we call it a call? It no, a I think, well, I mean, at least as far as the survey goes, I just wanted to make sure we didn't drop this because I know it came up pretty early when I joined yeah. uh, the team last year. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, I think all of this makes sense. I'm looking forward to, you know, sending it out again and hopefully getting even more results this time than we got last time uh, and continuing to see, like, if we can evaluate the impact of the work that we've done uh, within the subproject. Yeah. So then we should set a target for getting it out, say, uh, before KubeCon. And then at KubeCon, we can, you know, do some announcements somewhere, maybe. Um, let's see, that would be. If it's going to be a Q2 thing, it should close before the end of the quarter, which would be uh, the end of June. Probably we want to close it sooner than that, but like like the end of May. So basically, let's let's target having it open for the month of May. If that sounds reasonable. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Uh, we can maybe go over it again in our next meeting. Okay. All right, that's all I've got. We'll give people back um, 45 minutes of their lives. So. Yeah, I don't have anything else. Evan, do you have anything? Oh, thanks for letting me join. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. sorry it's so short today. No worries. Just getting a feel. So thanks. Yep. All right. Cool. Thanks, everyone. See you later. Have a great Thanks, uh, John. Couple weeks. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye.